Okay, I'm gonna make a short video here on how to crimp uh, these connectors for the uh, Duet. Get a focus there. Um, these are these beef. Uh, when I say Duet, I mean Duet Three. These are these really beefy connectors for the six amp uh, drivers. Compare it to, let's say, the Creality stock. You see how much larger they are. Anyways, uh, you're gonna start by just uh, taking your flush cutters and just um, cutting them off, just right there. Once you get bare wires, you want to crimp on uh, the, uh, the fatter little pins. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. The fatter little pins that come with the Duet 3, the big fat ones. And um, I've already done a bunch on this motor cable. Let's see if I can get a little... Okay, there we go. I've done a bunch already, and I'm going to do the last one in front of you. Uh, when you strip it, uh, look at look at my finger here. You don't strip it very much, okay? That's just a couple millimeters, like three millimeters or so. And the goal here is that when you crimp this thing, you can see that there's kind of like this outer U right here. See this, this outer U on the end, and then an inner kind of wider, fatter U. What you want to do is you want to take this thing and lay it kind of like that, right? So that that outer U um, kind of uh, hugs the insulation and that inner little U, um, get a better focus, there we go. And that inner little U um, hugs the bare wire. So that's what you're going for. Now doing this uh, is only really possible if you have, let me come out a little bit. It's only really possible if you have uh, one of these, right? Which is a uh, crimp tool. So make sure you have one. Uh, I just got this on Amazon. Uh, there's the name of it. I don't know if they're still selling them or whatever, but there's the sizes. Um, I find that on my crimp tool, the best one to use is this uh, second to smallest right here. This, this one right here. Now what you're gonna do is, if you look at the tool, there's basically um, teeth that push into valleys. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little uh, pin and you're gonna insert it in the valley first. So now, if you look carefully, this is what's tricky. If you look carefully, let me get a little focus on that. There you go. You'll see that one side's a little fatter than the other side. And so what happens is, when you go to put this pin in, the way it's gonna sit is that the longer uh, arms here are gonna go on the wider side and the little short fat arms are gonna go on the narrower side. So um, let me see if I can do this on camera for you. So the first thing I like to do is since those arms on the outside there are so wide, I'm gonna just kind of push them together to where they're kind of like parallel with each other. Let me see if I can see how they're now, see they're really wide apart and now they're kind of like parallel. So that's the first thing I do, okay? Then I'm gonna take and turn this over. Now remember, I said the long arms are gonna go the wide side and this little short fat arms are gonna go in the narrow side. So let me see if I can show you this. So I'm turning it over. Let me get my fat fingers out of the way. Okay, get some focus. Okay, so you can, let me see if I can get an angle here. So I'm gonna just insert this in there. So I'm inserting it in the valley side, right? And I'll do this on camera if I can. And you just kind of shove it in with your fingers, okay? And boop, boop, there we go. So if you shove it in right, sorry I didn't did most of it off camera, but there you go. You can see that those long arms are in the wide side, and I got a really good side view there. Let's get focus. So you can see that the long arms kind of are stopped by that little, uh, oh, let me get my needle or something. Yeah, here, get this needle. You can see that the long arms here are stopped by this little bulkhead in here, okay? And what you're then gonna do is you're gonna squeeze these shut, okay? But you're squeeze them shut until you get to the first click. And when you do that, it's going to just kind of like the, this uh, this tooth here, this tooth is going to just sit on the outside of the crimp. So like, and there we go. Wait, one, wait I actually didn't click yet. Wait, and there it is. There's the click. 
So I'm on the first click on this thing, so it won't open again, okay? And you can see it's holding it in there uh, right against it, okay? Now that I have it like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little wire and I'm gonna push it in this end. I'll do this on camera for you. Where's my wire? Do, do, do. There it is. Okay, let me get the camera moved. Move it over. Okay, let's do this. All right, there you go. So I am going to take this guy. Yeah, let me get even closer. I'll try this again. There we go. Okay. So I am going to take this guy and shove it in. Now, here's the tricky part. You can shove this in too far if you're not careful, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna shove this in. Let me get a little more light on the subject. There we go. So you're gonna shove this in to where the insulation kind of stops. The insulation will be right where that outer arm set is but the bare metal will be where the um, inner arm set is to crimp on it. So let me try and do this on camera. Here we go, let me go again. And, and now I'm squeezing hard on the crimp. And then all the way down. Now I'm gonna let go. It opens this time because it went all the way. I take it out and let's see what I did. There we go, that looks nice. Let me get a critical focus on it. You can see that the insulation is definitely on this outer set of arms and that the wire, the bare wire is on the inner set. And that is a perfect crimp. Now that I got all of these crimped on this guy, all these crimped and I got all four, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, GST connector, or actually I don't know what this is. It's the, the big fat ones that the Duet use. Probably should have done my research before they made this video and looked it up for you. But you know what? I'm lazy. So um, the way I've got this set, I'm going to have uh, th uh, these wires on this side of the wire, uh, on this side of the connector, are pairs. Meaning this is one pair of the motor and this is the other pair, okay? The phase pairs. So I'm going to put this one here with the Z tag. I'm going to put it... Um, uh, on this one, on this side right here. I've already kind of figured this out ahead of time. Now let me uh, let me show you that there's like a little, let me turn my light off, it's actually too much light now. There we go. There's like a little arrow right there, a little arrow in the metal that tells you to insert it, right? And notice that on this side, it's all just flat plastic, so that's the side of the arrow. I'm gonna push it in. Now when I turn it over, you'll see that what's happening is the pin's going in, but it's not all the way in. And once you get it all the way in, and you can do it just by pushing the pins in, but I like to use tweezers, which I'll do next. When you push it all the way in, uh, see it's bunching a little bit. Okay, let me get my tweezers. I like to do it this way. So I just grab right here, and then I push in. There you go. And you can see that um, on the other side, the side that doesn't have the arrow, so this is the side with the arrow, you can see on the other side, there is kind of a little uh, lever here that keeps it from coming back out. So I am going to do this to all the pairs. Now you gotta be careful to make sure you do this um, in the, the correct pairs. If you get these wrong on your stepper motor, uh, it, could, it could blow up the stepper driver on the board. So what I like to do to double check at the end here is uh, use DuPont cables and double check my math. So um, I'm using my brain to make sure that it's right. And I, I kind of looked on the diagrams and everything, but um, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, in a moment. And let me put the last one in, okay, and like this. Okay, so now if I've done this correctly, they're in pairs and you can see that they're, uh, the way the Creality cable is, it's flat and it works, meaning you don't have to do any um, crossovers or twists. So the first two go next to each other and the second two go next to each other. But to really double check, what you can do is um, on the Z motor here, because this is the Z motor cable, all I gotta do is uh, jump the phased pairs. And the, the Duet connector on the board um, has one pair on one side, one pair on the other side, right? So if I, if I to make sure that the pairs are in the right order, I just put a DuPont connector in there 
and I jump it with the one next to it. And now that they're bridged, now this pair is closed loop, uh, this motor back here, when I turn it left and right manually, it's very hard. Well, not very hard, but it's a lot harder, noticeably harder than like that. See? Oh, yeah, now it's easy. So um, so I know I got it right. And, you know, you know, I, by process of elimination, this other pair must have been correct. But, you know, if I do it over here, it should feel rough. Yeah, that's hard. And then I pull one out, and now it's easy. So that's a good way to check it. And just uh, to finish this all up, uh, let me pan down a little bit here, and uh, let's focus down here, and uh, this connector goes right here on the board. These are all the drivers on the Duet 3.